Chapter number three of Welsh Fairy Tales and Other Stories by P. H. Emerson. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recorded by Charlotte Duckett. Old Gwilym. Old Gwilym Evans started off one fine morning to walk across the Eagle's Hills to a distant town, bent upon buying some cheese. On his way, in a lonely part of the hills, he found a golden guinea, which he kept and put in his pocket. When he got to the town, instead of buying his provisions, he went into an alehouse and sat drinking and singing with some sweet-voiced quarrymen until dark, when he thought it was time to go home. Whilst he was drinking, an old woman with a basket came in and sat beside him, but she left before him. After the parting glass, he got up and reeled through the town, quite forgetting to buy his cheese, and as he got amongst the hills, they seemed to dance up and down before him, and he seemed to be walking on air. When he got near the lonely spot where he had found the money, he heard some sweet music, and a number of fairies crossed his path and began dancing around him, and then he looked up and saw some brightly lighted houses before him on the hill. And he scratched his head, for he had never remembered seeing these houses before. And as he was thinking and watching the fairies, one came and begged him to come into the house and sit down. So he followed her in, and found the house was all gold inside, and brightly lighted, and the fairies were dancing and singing, and they bought him anything he wanted for supper, and then they put him to bed. Gwilym slept heavily, and when he woke up and turned around, he felt very cold, and his body seemed covered with prickles. So he sat up and rubbed his eyes, and found he was quite naked and lying in a bunch of gorse. When he found himself in this plight, he hurried home and told his wife, and she was very angry with him for spending all his money and bringing no cheese home, and he told her of his adventures. Oh, you bad man, he said. The fairies gave you money and you spent it wrongly. They were sure to take their revenge. End of chapter number three. Old Gwilym.